question is not, if I stop to help this man in need, what will happen to me? The question is, if I do not stop to help the sanitation workers, what will happen to them? That's the question. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke these words the day before he was, was killed. In, in his speech, I've been to the mountaintop. This same call to action is present in the New Green Dot program at the University of Idaho, which is a program that encourages individuals to behave in a way that promotes safety for the community and to communicate an intolerance for violence. What Green Dot does is it just, it frames what we all know to be true in our hearts in a way that's really simple and uh, gives us tools so that we can take action in the world when we think somebody else is being hurt. Imagine the world. Now imagine every time someone gets hurt, a red dot appears in that place. Now imagine yourself preventing that person from getting hurt. A green dot would take the place of your action. The goal for green dot is to fill the world with more green dots and truly make it greener on the other side. It has been found that a predator must go through 40 people before they can actually commit an assault. Chip Guy, also known as Snack Man Hero, prevented a fight on the New York City subway using what Stallone called the distraction tactic by using his body as a barrier between two individuals who are about to fight. Green Dot does not solely focus on violent prevention, but also on making each other feel a bit more welcomed in this sometimes cold world. Stallone shared that a simple gesture of opening the door <laughs> can be your first step in creating your Green Dot. For Mostly Moscow, I'm Lauren Sanders.